I worked as a clinician with burn survivors, and I think the devastation of this injury, the level of trauma, the, the level of destruction associated with it, and yet people are able to recover from this injury. The limitations that are associated with a major injury, we really weren't making any progress in treatment. And so that really was my motivation. We need to find better evidence to, to treat these people um, so that they can have quality of life after such a devastating injury. The main question is a better understanding of the pathophysiology of hypertrophic scar, how to evaluate it and how best to treat it. Burn injuries are, are very traumatic, devastating injuries. And uh, the hypertrophic scar is a type of scar that only humans get. We don't have an animal model to do any research with it. On. And so that makes it actually particularly difficult to research when you don't have an animal model. And so our lab has been looking at how best to evaluate hypertrophic scars so that we have the most accurate measurements possible. And so we've used electronic instrumentation that was actually developed for the cosmetic industry, but have applied it to the evaluation of hypertrophic scar so that we get better data, more accurate data. And we've gone a long way to show that some of this instrumentation can be utilized with hypertrophic scar and now are using it to evaluate the effectiveness of different treatments that we use to treat scars such as pressure garments, cortisone injections, orthoses, etc. One of the real advantages of having my research office at Villa Medica is that we're so close to the clinicians and we can make sure that the knowledge that is being created is being moved into the clinical setting very quickly. Um, and it's been really great to see how that has allowed the, the treatment of burn survivors to improve across time, which is really fantastic to see. I think McGill actually has the best OT program in Canada, and it's definitely a perfect fit for me with respect to the programs across Canada. Um, I think it's just a, an honor and a privilege to be able to work with such incredible faculty and to, to have the fortune of being able to learn from them each and every day.